Shai Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak Wakash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Aki, who go out throughout the four quarters of the earth to push this truth in all sincerity. Uh, putting your life on the line and risking your life to do so for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai's sake, and the truth's sake, and the waking up of the elect's sake. I'm the brother Tawabash from the Great Millstone Northwest Camp. Humbly coming back with another episode. And uh, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. Uh, you know, a lot going on right now, right? Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the uh, faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, so we know that this is the so-called white man. And we know that during the Renaissance era, which we are still technically in, he uh, he covered up the faces of the judges, and the number one judge that he covered the uh, covered the face of of was Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls uh, uh, Jesus Christ, who is the son of Yahweh, right? The only begotten son of Yahweh, who you people ignorantly call God. Right? And this message is only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. You know, we don't go out, and, and, and really for oh, one-third of, of the nation, not the whole nation, is going to receive this word. <clears throat> so, in all reality, this is for you. Uh, so, like, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, but, yeah. So, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. And we know it's the so-called white man, Esau, Edom according to the Bible, because he's the one that has, uh, during the Renaissance era, committed what is called iconoclasm. And uh, iconoclasm is the covering up of images <clears throat> and changing the uh, icons or the images of, uh, uh, of people, paintings, uh, sculptures, carvings, right? That's why you see all the noses busted off of all of the statues. They didn't want you to know they had Negroid features. So they take off the nose and lips. Uh, they whitewash the paintings. So that all the people's skin was white instead of brown in the cathedrals. But they didn't get all of it. There's still artifacts that show Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus. That's a so-called dark-skinned black man with an afro, which is how the Bible depicts it or describes him. Right? So now that we have that bit of information and we know that uh, you know the chosen people of the most high are not the Ashkenazi or the Yiddish speaking uh, fake Jews that are in uh, in Israel, right? Because those are uh, Khazars, Bulgars, Polacks. Russians, right? Edomites is what they really are. And uh, the brother Barak did a beautiful study on that uh, this week, and he went into a different, couple of different books proving that point that the converts there now are, uh, yes, Shemitic, which they call it Semitic because they can't even speak the language because the Lord just didn't give it all to them. Right? So Semitic, as they call it, but it's Shemitic. Right? It says they were Shemitic people of Edom. Esau, right? Esau is Edom. Scriptures say that directly. Right? So you have Esau, Edom, who took over this, this uh, world as we know it, right? Everything that's going on in this current world, he is the ruler of it. But it's been given it, and given unto him. It's been given to him because it says, Yahweh, who you call God, ruleth in the kingdoms of men. It, it also says that he sets up rulers and takes down rulers and, you know, the wars are decided by him, right? This is his movie. This, this program that we call life is his program. It's his movie. He's the director. We ain't got no say. We just go along with what we're supposed to do. We stick to the script. All right? Because the scriptures say that uh, Yahweh directed the steps of men. That's, uh, your, your life has already been planned out. Your free will, as you think, is to, to obey or to keep fighting against the pricks, which is going to jack your life up. To the point where if you keep fighting against what the most I want you to do, he'll kill you. Right? Get you, get you hooked on drugs. Right? Get have you shot by the police. You know? All kind of things can happen. Right? The Lord employs 
is Satan to do all of these things because he cannot be tried by you. As the scripture said, you know, when he, uh, when in earlier in Job, when all the angels presented themselves, as did Satan. And he was reporting because he had been working. Right? So with all that being said, now we know who is ruling this, this planet. Some history on how they got there, right? The iconoclasm covering up the faces of the judges. Right? It also says he covet fields and take them by force. Right? So he did that. And it says he oppresseth the man and his household. And his heritage. It's like it. He oppresses the man's household and his heritage. So he took and stole and hid the fact that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, so-called, took their identity as being Hebrew Israelites, put them in slavery, almost wiped them out as a people so that they would forget this, and enslaved all of them. Right? Now, that sounds like somebody coveting fields and taking them by violence. Right? It also says that he would, uh, that the, the nation, the southern tribes of the nation of Israel, you, uh, the tri uh, nations of Judah, you actual Jews, would be taken by ships in the way of bondage, by a way you've never seen them before, uh, uh, by way of, uh, excuse me, by way of ships, and no man shall buy thee, right? No, nobody's come to our, to our help. Asians know who we are, the Arabs know who we are, all these other nations know who we are, and they know that the so-called white man has taken our, our identity. Uh, Abdul Nasir Gamal, or I can't always say his name right, the Prime Minister of uh, Egypt, back in the day said that, <coughs> uh, how did the Jews leave black and come back white? Everybody knows who we are, and nobody stepped in and said, no, nah, that's not right, because the Arabs actually were the ones who hunted us and sold us into slavery. They've always been They've always done that, going back to the time of Joseph. They're cunning human hunters. They don't kill their prey, but they sell their prey, which is human cargo. Right? First they sold us with the Hamites, and then that slavery ended, and they started both collectively selling us to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The Hamites, the Africans, right? Because you Negroes are not Africans. If you look up the Zond Zondervans, Bible dictionary, it goes into the fact that you are actually not of the stock of Ham. Right? It says every all these other dark nations are. Ethiopians, Tretrians, uh, or uh, Etrians, Eritreans, you, uh, you uh, Sudanese, you Malis, right? All, you, all, all the nations in Africa are Ham from the stock of Ham, but the Negro goes back to Shem. Same as the, the Arab, East Indian, the white man, the Asian. All go back to Shem. So there ain't no such thing as anti Semitism. First, let's get that out of the way. All right, so now we know that he covered fields, he can take them by force, he enslaved the black. All right, so he's been, he's been creating all this wickedness on the planet Earth. Right? But the scripture says that it shall return a, 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 upon his own head, like uh, dung, upon his head, like, like hot shit. It's going to return right back to him, and he's going to be judged by the same judgments he's been putting out times two. Right? So it says that he shall not altogether go unpunished, but he has to deal with the punishments that he's, he's, he's created for himself. That's a heavy load that he's, he's put in front of himself. You know, that's a lot of judgment that the so-called white man has. All right, so now, part of his judgment and his annihilation, right, because the scriptures say that he shall be a desolation, right? So he's going to wipe off uh, the Edomites off the face of the earth, but before that, there's a, a coming judgment. It right, says that Jacob shall be the flame and Esau shall be the stubble. Edom white so-called white man shall be the stubble right and when you put flame to a stubble it quickly lights that up and diminishes it. and that's exactly what's going to happen to the so-called white man. the lord yahweh the power of the bible is going to send his son back in, in fleets of angels to destroy him and his military and, and, and his rulership right 
Judea, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Yahweh Shaphat, His Judgment, right, which is going to be in modern day um, Iraq, Iran area, right, and, and uh, the war of Armageddon, Armageddon, uh, Armageddon, right, the Valley of uh, mountain of troops because it's going to be the largest war ever fought on this planet. Planet Earth which shall still ex exist but needs to be healed and prepared from all the damage that so-called white man has done to it. It's going to be healed and can be given a, a cleansing and a rebirth via ICBM nuclear missiles. So now the stage is being set for that World War III and that War of Armageddon in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. All these prophecies are coming to play beautifully, right? And the Most High gives us uh, signs. We're supposed to be watching for signs. And Kim Jong Un, one of the only uh, uh, nuclear powers on this planet, right, just said he had a, a nice present for the United States if they don't get their shit together. And then the imagery of his last uh, video on RT showed him riding off into the sunset on a white horse. And that white horse represents, uh, that white horse represents uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. And when you look at what Yahweh Shai has been called to come back and do, judge all the world, and how he's coming to do it, it said he come not to bring peace on earth, but a sword. It says, who is he that is uh, coming from uh, 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 Basra, right? Esau, from, uh, from Edom, with dyed garments, looking like he come from a wine press. So much blood on his garment, it looked like he was treading the grapes. It says that he's going to be the, uh, that he's going to be on that white horse and he's going to uh, throw in his sickle, right? Bring me and his judgments coming, man. It ain't gonna be no cakewalk when you have a shot come back, man. They're coming back to destroy the nation of, of Edom and anybody who is down with them in America, as well as two thirds of the nation of Israel in America. Now, these other places are gonna catch judgment as well. These Edomites, these other nations are gonna catch judgment and missile fire as well. But we're gonna need some slaves in the kingdom, so the Lord is, is sparing some. Right? So, hey, man. World War III is, is around the corner now. Remember, in, in Matthew 24, it said uh, there shall be wars and rumors of wars, but the end is, is not st yet still. So don't get too excited. Yeah, the stage is being set. They're calling for a draft. We got a long, we got a lot of prophecy yet left to be fulfilled. But it's beautiful times that we're living in because it is being fulfilled, and we are here and, and blessed enough to be able to see it. So with that. Make it quick, man. Just keep your eyes open. Keep watching. You know, even though there's wars and rumors of wars, the end is not yet still. But we got to hold on and endure until the end, man. Stay strong. Hold on, brothers. Shalom.